Now at 4.30, the roller coasters are looping and the food is frying. The gates to the State Fair of Texas are open to the public. Thanks for staying with us for News 8 at 4. I'm Alicia Laventure. Now over the next 24 days, Big Tex will welcome hundreds of thousands of fairgoers to Fair Park to enjoy some of the tastiest and best fried food in the entire country. So for that, we head over to News 8's Marie Saavedra and Colleen Coyle. They're out there right now, been doing plenty of taste testing. And ladies, I hope we're getting some laps in between that chocolate Ghirardelli and bacon fried bacon. Uh, maybe we should do that during our next break. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe we have few. not. We've, no, we've, we've we been actually... talking to a lot of great people. Exactly. I will say that. Thank you all for being here. I know we got the crowd Excited. here. Yes. Oh, we're getting them revved up. I know we're getting them revved up. See, they've been here since 10 o'clock this morning when the gates open. They're so full, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but actually this morning was beautiful. Now we've got the sun out um, and it's going to be a great night, I think, to be out here. Exactly. Yeah. And it's the first day. So as Alicia said, you got 24 more days to enjoy the State Fair of Texas. And we have a staple with us now for the second course of our taste testing. I mean, I'll be honest, we're meeting royalty yes. for the first time and we're very excited. It's we, an honor. We are joined by Gigi Fletcher. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. So glad to be here again. 76 years this year. That's amazing. So, yeah. And to mark this 76th year, you've got something special and new mm -hmm. that we want to let everybody know we about. We do. We have what we're calling a cheesy pup okay. because it's a smaller version of our regular corn dog, but it's just all cheese, gooey cheese on the inside. And when you bite into it, it tastes like a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, Come man. Of fried, of oh. course. Now, what makes you all say, I want to try, obviously you've got the staple corny dog, but what makes you think, I want to try something new? Well, we get a lot of feedback from our fans. That's the, our main motivation. And then occasionally, you know, a family member will say something. And my son this year said, we need to do the cheese, something cheese, something, another alternative, to, you know, to the meat. And then the kids, you know, you're thinking about the That's kids true. too. Yeah. All children love grilled cheese sandwiches, so. We just thought we'll try this and see how it goes and we're getting a good response so far it's, right. it's tasty well, oh and they're a little smaller so i think we can have two well, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I, have, <laughs> I have extras if you want them. <laughs> i like that math colleen that's really good oh thank you so much mm -hmm. okay guys so this is cheers. the cheesy pup cheers Gigi, are we going to spill this all over ourselves I on tv not. here oh thank you I hope not. I and hope. the wind is back mm. yeah how do you how could you go wrong <laughs> Tastes good. Mm. I think Brandon is um, zooming in on us right now. <laughs> we know where you're he welcome, lives. We'll North Texas. We're you're not welcome. sharing. Uh, well, we I love eating on TV. To, I know. Well, we continue to chew. Uh, let's send it over to Sebastian Robertson. He's roaming around the fair. Uh, and Sebastian, where are you now? Well, this is great. You know, this, this is the most fair problem that, that's ever happened. There was a scheduling conflict. We were going to talk to this guy named Jeff, and you know, he used to be the mascot for the Dallas Mavericks. We're going to talk all about basketball, um, but the Pogo guys are using the court, doing some kind of a, a Pogo show. So this is going to be great. So, so Jeff, we were going to talk all about basketball. Yeah. Um, we might as well just give your program a pitch while theirs is going. Yeah. Tell exactly. me about your show. We've got an acrobatic oh, slam dunk basketball show. A lot of flips, dunks, high flying, high energy. It's called Team Big Air. So we share the same stage with the X Pogo. We're at two, four, and six. Now, let, check out these pogo guys while we talk. It, are, are the pogo sticks like the natural enemy of the big dunk guys? Is there some type of rivalry here? No, not really, because we got them every time. We fly higher and flip more. But we are uh, incredibly supportive of our pogo friends. It's pretty impressive. It is. You were saying they were pneumatic. Yeah. And then you laughed. Yeah, they're, they're powered by air, which not that one. That's got springs on it. But the other ones, it, yeah, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. I figured it'd be uh, surgical tubing or bungee cords or something like that. But apparently not. Uh, tell me, uh, you have a best memory of being a mascot for the Dallas Mavericks? Yeah, uh, uh, one of my best memory. I got chosen to do a promotion one time in costume. I had to shoot a free throw for somebody to win a uh, Dirk, Dirk autographed jersey. I got three attempts. I missed the first two, let go of the ball for the third one. The buzzer went for the timeout to end. Nothing but net. The crowd went crazy. It felt like hitting the last second shot. That's, that's why you have to watch the mascots. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, it was crazy. I was surprised. I got a chance to do it, but it worked out. And uh, it was fun. I hope people come to see your show. Yeah. I'm sure it's great. That's great. Let's, let's end with uh, some video of, of, of a guy doing something with a pogo stick. Back to you guys.
The shows are really fun. Yes, they are so fun. Sorry, it's hard for me to do my job on a day like today. I mean, I'm like, you know which one's the corn dog and which one's the microphone, right? you got to have the corn inflection. Yeah, yeah. Now, that would Just be embarrassing. Yeah. I heard Sebastian's already had two of these. I know. We. I guess we got to catch up. I know. I guess we got two. Well, here, we got two right here. I'm going to keep going. And Gigi, thank you again. Oh, yes, thank welcome. you so much, Gigi. Enjoy it. Delicious. Have a great time. Oh, we will. Mm. Alicia, I wish you were here to enjoy this food with us. It's really good. It's only course number two. We got <laughs> That's two true. more I gotta, to go. I got to pace myself. You know, I have to say, I am impressed, particularly by you, Colleen, double fisting the fried food with the mic <laughs> in your hand. But I do notice one of those hasn't been eaten, and that's the one you're bringing back for me here in the studio. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right? We can wrap it up. Wink, wink. We can wrap it up. No okay. problem. Yeah. Thanks, ladies. Appreciate it. Take my corny dog to go. In the meantime,